Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is another episode of my 10 ways to style series and this time it's all about waistcoats and vests. So I'm gonna start by telling you a bit about the history of waistcoats and vests and then I'm gonna show you 10 ways on how I like to style them to achieve the perfect 60s and 70s look. So let's start with the history. First of all, what's the difference between a waistcoat and a vest? So a waistcoat in general is just a more formal vest. So all waistcoats are vests, but not all vests are waistcoats. So the waistcoat has been around since approximately 1660 and it used to be worn by kings and lords. It was a really formal piece of clothing and it was pretty much exclusively worn by men. So the waistcoat stayed the clothing piece for the upper class up until the 19th century. In the 19th century, the vest became also popular among workers. So a lot of workers would wear vests with their uniforms or the vest was a part of the uniform because it was just easier to carry tools around with. After World War II in the mid 20th century, the vest became more popular among the majority of people. So a lot of men would wear waistcoats with their suits to work and the West was also still a part of the work uniform for a lot of men and women. But the 60s were also the time where the West became popular as a more laid back and informal piece of clothing. Pretty much ever since the 60s and 70s, the West has stayed around in one way or another. And today I'm gonna show you 10 of my favorite Wests and waistcoats and how I love to style them. So up until the 60s and 70s, and pretty much even to this day, the West is way more popular among male fashion. I personally, however, have the philosophy that fashion doesn't have a gender. I don't care if an outfit was worn by a man or a woman. If I enjoy it, if I like it, I will wear it because I don't believe in the whole concept of fashion having a gender. And I feel like overall, no matter which gender you are, no matter what you identify with, you should just wear whatever you like and whatever you feel the best in. So now I'm gonna show you 10 of my favorite vests and 10 different ways on how I love to style them to achieve the perfect 60s and 70s look. So let's start with a very classic vest. This one is a silk vest. As you can see, it has these little ties in the back so you can kind of make it a bit more tailored at the waist. This one really reminds me a lot of the Beatles. I absolutely love it. I love that it is kind of meshy up front and then it has this beautiful detailing. This is originally from the 60s. Most of the vests and waistcoats that I have are actually true vintage and vests like these were super popular. And I wanted to style this in a very classic London 60s look. So I paired it with a white blouse, a very classic black mini skirt, for shoes, I went with these 60s heels. I absolutely love them. They're super comfortable to wear. To kind of pick up the white from the blouse and to make the look a bit more preppy overall, I added some white knee-high socks. And I accessorized the look with a silk scarf and a super classic chain belt. So what I really like about this look is even though the vest is a bit more boxy cut, the outfit still has some structure to it because the mini skirt is kind of a bit more fitted around my waist. I feel like a look like this is super classic, super easy to recreate. I feel like if you don't want to wear a skirt with it, you could also wear some corduroy pants or something. And I feel like this is the perfect example of what a waistcoat can do for you because I feel like this by itself would have been a nice look, but by adding the vest, it just really elevates the whole outfit. Speaking of corduroy pants, the second outfit is built around these pants. These are just some blue flared corduroys. And I paired them with one of my favorite vests ever, which is this one. I absolutely love it. It's this late 70s jean vest. And what I really love about this one is that it is reversible. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know if it's actually reversible, but from the way that it looks, I feel like this is way too beautiful to be worn on the inside all the time. I absolutely love the detailing on the shoulders. I think this is such a gorgeous vest. And I actually wore it with the white side out because I really love the frilly detailing. Because the vest has this bohemian flair to it, I wanted to go with another major 70s trend, which is embroidered blouses. And I feel like that's a very laid back and easy yet super beautiful 70s look. And last but not least, I wanted to style this with a pair of shoes that was really easy and everyday. But since the pants are pretty long on me, I really prefer wearing them with some sort of heels. And so I added these chunky platform suede boots. So the next outfit is one of my absolutely favorite looks ever. I love, love, love love to wear this outfit and it is built around this gorgeous embroidered vest. So this vest is probably one of my absolute favorite pieces of clothing that I have. This is an original vintage piece. It is so 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 gorgeous. I love the colors. I think this is perfect for summer and what I actually like to do is to wear it without anything underneath. 
so I just tie it in the front right here and then it's a shirt and I absolutely absolutely love the look of that wearing embroidered vests as t-shirts or tops in general became a huge trend in the late 60s at the peak of hippie fashion I feel like this is perfect for festivals would have loved to wear this to Woodstock or somewhere and vests like these were also really popular because people would make them themselves and then hand embroider them so if you know how to do that that is awesome as well I however got this one at a vintage store and I am so so glad that I did because this is such an amazing piece and I feel like this goes to show you that vests are so versatile like you can wear them over something underneath something or just wear them by themselves and um, yeah I really love this one so I styled this vest with another major 60s trend which are suede leather shorts I absolutely love them I think they're so gorgeous and cute and I feel like these two items together are perfect for that nature inspired hippie look so in true hippie fashion you could obviously go barefoot here and honestly that's what I do a lot of times but if I want to wear shoes with that I usually tend to go with these ones these are platform shoes from the 70s originally I love them I love the embroidery and I feel like the embroidery on here matches the embroidery on the vest perfectly so that's just one of my favorite looks to wear so this next vest is one of my all-time favorite because it combines two of my favorite 60s and 70s trends crocheting and patchwork it's this gorgeous original vintage vest this one is pretty big on me but I don't really care I feel like vests like these are kind of rare but if you keep your eyes out you will find them at thrift stores so as said vests like these were extremely extremely popular especially during the 70s and I absolutely absolutely love this one I think it is so so gorgeous so with this I really wanted to go for a very late back 70s look so I styled them with my favorite pair of light washed flared jeans and this belt that is actually still in them a little disclaimer right here I went hiking in these pants yesterday so they might be a bit dirty at the bottom but I really wanted them to be a part of this video so I'm gonna put them in the washing machine right after I filmed this so just don't get confused if they're pretty dirty at the bottom so I really love that the belt is picking up the brown from the west and to pick up the black I just decided to go with a regular black turtleneck if you know me you know I love to wear turtlenecks I think they're amazing and what I really love about wearing this one with the look is that it's kind of taking a step back and making the west a standout piece of the outfit for shoes I wanted to go with brown and black as well so I paired my favorite platform shoes I absolutely love them they're super heavy because they have real wooden sole I love the folded leather shoes like these were a big trend in the 70s and this whole outfit reminds me so much of Hyde from that 70s show and I obviously love his style so I think that's just a great look to kind of accessorize the outfit I went with a big statement necklace necklaces like these were super popular during the 60s and 70s especially among folk singers like Joni Mitchell Mitchell she wore a lot of these and I think it's such a beautiful necklace also Sharon Tate wore necklaces like this so I really love the trend and last but not least I added this beautiful hat I feel like this is so cute and it just wraps the outfit perfectly speaking of crocheted vests I also have another one and when I found this one at one of my local thrift stores I couldn't believe it it's this gorgeous gorgeous crocheted rainbow vest this one is definitely made by hand as you can see so the shape of this is so beautiful because it really flares out at the bottom it's almost like a poncho with armholes and i absolutely love this so crocheted vests like these were super popular among hippie fashion but also just among teenagers during the 70s i would love to learn how to crochet i just haven't found the time for it yet but one day i will and i will definitely crochet more because i love the trend so since that crocheted vest is so beautiful i really wanted it to be the standout piece of the outfit so i chose the outfit to kind of stand back and just match the vest perfectly so I went with this gorgeous 1970s shirt. I also paired it with this pair of suede leather shorts that has this amazing detailing in the front. I absolutely love them and I feel like it just works great with the vest. And for shoes, I kept it super simple by just going with some light brown suede boots. So moving on with this gorgeous vest, I absolutely love it. This one is also made out of silk. It is so so beautiful as you can see it kind of has this lace detailing in the front and then it's covered in those gorgeous beads i absolutely love this vest i think it is so beautiful it's kind of a bit longer on me which i really love and with this i really wanted to style a glam rock look because vests were also super popular with glam rock fashion icons like david bowie and mark bolan also really enjoyed wearing vests so i wanted to show you a glam rock look and i feel like this vest is perfectly for that so to make it a bit more glam i styled it with this amazing 
amazing shirt. This one is an original 1970s shirt. I love it because it's kind of knitted and then it has this beautiful detailing in the front that really looks so, so amazing. For bottoms, I wanted to keep it very simple and black and so I went with another pair of leather shorts. Leather shorts were just such a big trend during the 60s and 70s and I absolutely love them. I talked about this before, but basically shorts weren't popular until the late 60s, but that is when they became extremely, extremely popular and I absolutely love this pair. In good old glam rock fashion, I also added this pair of fishnets and this obviously wouldn't be a glam rock look if I wouldn't add more silver to it to kind of pick up the silver beading from the top. And so I went with this silver chain belt and my favorite pair of silver shoes. I absolutely love them. These are also originally from the 70s because they have such a thick heel. They're amazing to walk in and I feel like this whole look is just perfect to attend a concert. Moving on with another leather meets crochet vest and that is this one. So I really really love this one i love the detailing so during the late 60s natural materials became super popular so vests like these were extremely extremely popular especially among younger men so i really really love this however i don't know if you can tell because i'm not wearing it right now but this one is so so big so when i saw this i wasn't sure if i wanted to get it because it is so big on me but then i figured if i close all the buttons i can wear this as a dress and i love 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 to do this so i don't really wear this as a vest ever but I just love to wear it as a dress and that's just another idea on how to style a vest or a waistcoat and I feel like with fashion it's so much fun to think out of the box sometimes so just because this is a vest it doesn't mean I can't wear it as a dress so if you have a piece of clothing in your closet where you're like mm, I don't wear it because I kind of don't like it the way that it is supposed to be worn try styling it with something different because a lot of the time at least for me that's what really makes me fall in love with an item of clothing so because this is such a beautiful and unique piece I really wanted to keep it super simple with the rest of the outfit so all I did was to add my favorite pair of 60s boots I know they're beaten up and they've been through a lot but these are just the most comfortable most beautiful shoes so I will keep wearing them until they are literally falling apart and then I will probably still keep them because they mean so much to me and for accessories I decided to go with this hat hats like this were pretty popular in the 60s moving on with the very Patty Boyd Anita Pellenberg inspired outfit styled around this vest I absolutely love this vest. It's one of my favorite pieces in my entire wardrobe. This one is a original 60s velvet vest and then it has these beautiful embroidered details and also these cute little mirrors that I think are absolutely gorgeous. And vests like these became super popular when the Beatles went to India because the Beatles, because when the Beatles went to India, they kind of started wearing more Indian clothing. So I styled this with this gorgeous psychedelic printed dress. This vintage dress has a classic 60s print. Print. I absolutely love it. I feel like this is a dress that Patty Boyd would have absolutely worn. I love the arms. So these kind of balloon arms were super popular during the 60s and I just feel like this is such a gorgeous dress because I really wanted to accentuate the white detailing in the dress. I styled this with my favorite pair of white go-go boots. I absolutely love them. They were obviously a big 60s fashion trend and I just felt like I couldn't make a 60s and 70s styling video without white go-go boots. And then to make the look even more fun, I added this gorgeous white sun hat. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite floppy hats. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you have a hat that's just a bit too floppy, get a pin pin it up, it'll save you all the trouble. And I just feel like this ties the look together perfectly. Hats like this were also super popular among muses like Anita Pellenberg and I just feel like they're perfect for that late 60s, early 70s look. Moving on with another gorgeous vest, I have this one. This one reminds me so much of something Paul McCartney would have worn. I love the color, I love the detailing. As said before, nature materials became super popular during the late 60s and vests like these were also worn by musicians like Donovan or as said before, the Beatles. So since I really love the blue color of the vest, I kind of wanted to go with a blue look. So I added this amazing 70s mini skirt. Another big 60s trend were all things velvet and so I decided to pair this outfit with these gorgeous midnight blue over knee boots. And to just kind of tie the blue look together, I also added my favorite pair of vintage sunglasses. And because there's so much blue going on in that whole look, I felt like I kind of needed to take a step back when it came to the shirt. And so I decided to go with a classic white turtleneck. Moving on to the final outfit, which I built around this 
gorgeous vest. It is leather and fur. It is super, super warm. I love the little detail in the front. You could tie it, but you obviously don't have to. What I really love about this one is that at the seams, the fur is kind of peeking out. I feel like that is such a gorgeous trend. And I feel like vests like these are amazing for men and women and pretty much everyone. I feel like this is just a very timeless classic piece. So this outfit is highly inspired by Joni Mitchell and her style. I feel like she had such a beautiful bohemian hippie Ask 70s style that I really wanted to incorporate into this video. So I styled the vest with this amazing skirt. I love it. This is a real leather skirt. It's pretty long. So I've been getting quite a few comments from people asking me to show more outfits not built around mini skirts or shorts. So I try to incorporate that more because even though I love to wear shorts and mini skirts, I don't do it every single day. And a lot of the times I also enjoy a longer skirt like this one. I also added this amazing turtleneck. I love the natural beige color. I just think it is so beautiful. And for shoes, I went with these beautiful light brown suede boots. I just felt like they tied the look together perfectly. So that's it for today's video. A lot of you requested me doing a 10 ways on how to style vests and waistcoats, so I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it with a friend. It supports the channel, it supports me, and it would mean so, so much. Also, please leave a comment down below telling me which outfit you like the most. What is your favorite way to style a vest? And also, if you have any suggestions on which item I should show you 10 ways on how to style it next. If you're interested in all things 60s and 70s, subscribe to this channel because I upload multiple videos every single week all about that. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys!